So welcome to this daily digital micro webinar session on enhancing Word documents. This micro webinar will demonstrate how to create not only stylish but useful documents and we'll be looking at adding a drop cap, adding a signature, inserting a cover page, looking at themes and adding watermarks. So to begin, I'm just going to show you how you can get the latest version of Word. So you can open up a web browser and go to portal.office.com and log in with your Cardiff Met username and password. And in the top right hand corner, you can see install Office. You can click on the drop down and choose Office 365 apps, and that will give you the latest version of all the Microsoft apps. On the left hand side, you can see I've got Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and so on. So you can also access them from here. I'm going to just open up a Word document. Here you go. And I need some dummy text, so I'm just going to type in equals lorem, no spaces, and then an open bracket. And then the number I type in will be the number of paragraphs I will see. So I'm just going to type in 20 and then close the bracket. And then when I press the enter key, it will give me all of this dummy text. I can also use equals rand just to generate more text, no spaces. Make sure you have an open and a closed bracket. And when I press the enter key, here's some extra information about Microsoft. So the first thing we're going to do is to add a drop cap. So a drop cap or just a dropped capital is a large capital letter used as a decorative element at the beginning of a paragraph section. So if I just highlight the V in the word video, I can go up to insert and within this text group there are lots of things we can look at but we're going to look at drop cap and here I can just choose from dropped or dropped in the margin and I can also go to drop cap options so I can choose where it appears the fonts and how many lines to drop and so on and then I just click on OK and there's my drop cap. So you might have seen that in the past in uh, the start of a chapter of a book, but that's how you insert a drop cap. The next thing we're going to look at is just inserting a signature line. So if you want a line for somebody to sign, all you need to do again is go up to insert and choose here we go, insert, and within the same group, the text group, signature line and click on the drop down and we've got two choices here so I'm going to pick Microsoft Office signature line and then you can just go in and update all of these fields and if you're just happy with the basic line just insert if you need to make any changes you can right click and choose signature setup so there's lots of options there for you so that's just a very basic signature line for you Next, we're going to look at a cover page. So there is a gallery of cover pages available that you can just insert into your document and edit. So again, make sure you're on the insert menu and within the pages group, we've got cover page and you can hover and it will give you a description. So I'm just going to choose grid so you can really see what it looks like. And wherever you insert the cover page, it will always be inserted into the very first page of your documents. So there's the cover page and you can click on these text boxes and just insert your own information and you can uh, go up and change the color of these backgrounds. So that's a cover page. There are also different themes that you can apply and the themes can be found under design and click on the themes drop down and again it changes the text and it's updated in this cover page and then you can just click on the one you want and there's the theme. 
You've also got the area to change the colors and the fonts. And if you want to, you can create your own theme as well. And finally, I'm just going to insert a watermark. So again, on the design tab, on the right hand side, within the page background group, we can insert page colors and page borders, but I'm just going to go with watermark. There are built in watermarks for you to choose. So I'm just going to choose draft and you can just about see the draft here. If I want to get rid of it, delete it, I can go back and remove it. And I can also go into custom watermark. So it doesn't have to be text, it can be a picture. So I can choose picture, select picture. And if I've got any pictures in my files, so this is just the first image and I apply and you can see the picture in the background. So that could be the Cardiff Met logo or any pictures relating to what you're writing about. This is washed out and I can deselect it just so the colour is brighter. Thank you for listening and I'm going to stop the recording and there'll be a chance for you to ask any questions.